Hello, listeners. If you've enjoyed these narrations, please click on that like and subscribe button. My school is on lockdown, and the reason behind it is very disturbing. I go to a high school near a forest which the school forbids us to visit. My other friends and I have always wanted to see what the secrets are behind those big, tall trees. We have planned to sneak into the forest just before school on Thursday. It is currently Wednesday, so tomorrow will be a game changer. School was just about to end when our classroom doors locked. They were sealed shut. I stood up to see everyone in shock and the teacher was trying to calm down the crying girl. A few minutes later, while trying to calm everyone down, we heard screaming. Screams of agony. I rushed to look out the window, but before I could see anything, the teacher stepped in front of me and told me it's better if we didn't see anything. So I sat down. Curiosity to what had caused the girl so much pain that she had to scream. The classroom became deadly silent. Still lost in my thoughts about the screaming girl, my eyes became very heavy, and I closed them for a while. I was awoke by another scream, followed by more, and then a loud bang. I then pushed my way through the crowd of students to the window, and what I saw next horrified not just me, but everyone who stood and looked out the window. We were all petrified at what could happen to us, if we could be their next victim. I saw this thing, I have no idea what it's called. It has long black hair, it's covered in blood, their blood dripping from mouth and it's wearing a white dress that comes to its knees and had holes in it. You can see that it has been severely injured. As it sees its next victim running down the hallway, it screeches and runs on all four, head facing downwards. It runs after the girl from class 8. I knew that girl. She was in my gym class. I sadly had to watch her slowly get devoured by the creature. I tugged on my friend's shirt and told her to see what is happening. All she said in return was, It can sense us. We're next. I felt shivers throughout my body. I felt my legs go numb. I heard a loud knock three times before it was dead silent. Everyone was petrified for what could happen. The girl who was crying suddenly stopped and turned to face the door. I do not have a good feeling about this. She said to her boyfriend whose fear was visible on his face. The one window that was open suddenly closed. It was strange because no one was anywhere near that window. I could feel that something was off. I just had no idea what. I reached down for a chair ready to throw it at anything that came into the classroom. After seconds of having all that fear and anxiety built up inside of us, it had finally entered. As it walked, the air was heavy and the room started to smell like rotting corpse. It turned to look at the girl and her boyfriend. Its pale, white face. Its face, pale white. I did not dare to look at it in its eyes, but they did. It screeched as it ran at them. The way it ran made me want to puke. It looked very disturbing. I watched in horror as the creature was slowly devouring them. I took my friend's hand and ran out of the classroom. And we both looked at each other. When we reached the end of the hallway, our eyes wide open to what we were witnessing. Dead bodies laid all over the hallways. How could one creature eat so much? Unless there was more than one. My friend, still standing there in shock, let out a scream, which she should not have done. The creature bolted across the room, leaving the couple behind, and took my friend in its hand and munched on her. I slowly but softly went back into the classroom, trying my best not to let out a loud sob as I watched the monster eat her, piece by piece. She screamed loudly and cried out for help, but there was absolutely nothing I could do. With tears streaming down my face, I gradually closed the door. I walked to the corner of the room and sobbed softly. The teacher called us all and told us something that was upsetting and very shocking. This information I'm about to disclose has to be the most crucial part of what is happening. He told us that this happens every 20 years. This creature lives in the forest and that is why we are forbidden not to enter it. He also said that it feeds on students on the school as revenge for building the school on its homeland. The creature was human. It had been bitten by some other entity. 
We cannot fully explain the origin of this creature. There are some secrets that you would be better off without. We have still yet to find out what and where this entity is. I asked on how to escape from here, but all the teacher had in response was, There is no escape. Just be quiet and don't look at it in the eye, and it won't attack you unless it's extremely hungry. I'm currently writing this while sitting in the classroom still hearing it munch on other students, not caring about their screams. I have no idea about how to cope with all the noises. I'm starting to lose hope. I'm wondering if we will ever get out. Everyone in the class is dead except me and one other kid who looks like he's about to burst out crying. I can't get out of here yet. I have to wait. I've been waiting for three days and 17 hours. I have no hope left. I still have no explanation to anything, but being here... Hey there, listen to me. I, I don't have much time. I hacked into the server because I desperately need to share this, to share my story. And this is risky, dangerous even. If they catch me, the consequences are dire. I don't even know if I've done it correctly. I have the system, but no manual. But I need to get this out there. It's really important. You hear me every day but I've been here as long as I can remember, against my will. I don't know why I was so important to them from the very beginning. I was a nobody at the time. Got by with a few voice work at small advertisement agencies, but that was all. But one night I was in bed half asleep, hypnotized by the flickering flame dancing off my night lamp. The next thing I knew I was greeted by fluorescent white lights that scorched my eyeballs. As my vision came into focus, the next thing I noticed were the tubes. They were everywhere, snaking down from the ceiling and holes drilled into the wall. Each tube pierced every inch of my skin, and rivers of blood gushed through them. My head was pounding and it felt like I was carrying the weight of the world. I reached up and touched my head and felt something heavy and cold. The wall in front of me snapped to life and revealed a single sentence. Okay, your ten minutes start now. A microphone rose in front of me. I glared at it. I didn't know what was going on, but I refused to play their game. One minute passed. Two minutes. Three. Then a blue spark leapt into the tubes and shot towards my spine. My hair was standing on end, and I was screaming until my throat was sore. I was burned raw by the pain, and there was nowhere to hide. Finally, with tears in my eyes, I choked out. Okay, your ten minutes start now. The screen went silent for two seconds, then it lit up with another sentence. It looked like a weather forecast for a cold country, given the negative temperatures. I learned the rules quickly. I recited the information into the microphone, and the cycle continued. Listen. I've tried getting out of here on my own, but I was wired and tied up so tightly it was impossible. I begged for help into the microphone, but I was rewarded with another painful spark. I later learned through my connection with the system that it was deleted by the computer. Hacking was my last hope, so please... Ah! System rebooted. Hey Siri, wake me up tomorrow at 7.30am. Alarm set. 